Hello. Hi, is this uh, is this Chris? Yeah, this is Christian Chandler. May I help you? Hey, Chris. This is Alec Benson Leary again. How are you? Oh, I would have expected to call at nine thirty. Uh, but anyway, oh, I, uh, I I actually did try to call at uh, nine thirty. I didn't get an answer, uh, so I thought I'd try again. You're you're kind of a difficult man to get a hold of, Chris. Hmm. Yeah. I could All talk right. for for a few minutes. So. Let's try right. not to belabor this conversation. Oh, not at all. I don't uh, don't want to uh, drag anything out. Um, well, first I'll ask you if you have anything uh, specific you want to bring up, because I know you had to go uh, kind of abruptly last time, and I thought maybe there was a point you didn't get to or anything. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you want to go ahead with that? Um, well, first off, you know, you know, I have uh, I'm. I have gone to the Wikipedia recently. It's the ads are still super sized, but they are more of a mockery towards me now, and I do not appreciate that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Mao is kind of a uh, well, he's got a little bit of a temper, you know. He's he, he's he's just kind of mad about this whole uh, you know the, the, the mailbag situation, you know, emails getting deleted and all that sort of thing. You know, I, I um. I, I saw in uh, one of your mailbags that you said that I delete or uh, modify a lot of my emails. I don't know where you got that impression. I actually, I don't do that. You know, I I I, I try to answer every uh, email I get, you know, thoughtfully and and fully. Well, that's probably easy for you. That's probably easier for you because yours are not as mean and cruel. And condescending as the ones I've been getting. Have you been getting a lot of uh, mean ones that don't go into the mailbag? Because the ones I see, uh, a lot of them. I mean, they do get kind of uh, critical at points, but I, I don't know. It seems like they've been. They just kind of want to, you know, have some questions answered. Yeah, but I wish they wouldn't have to go so critical. Like, uh, what do you what do you mean? Like, uh, what are some of the things that you found just kind of across the line? Well, like they like they talk about the like they talk about copyright issues and crap. Well, that is that is kind of an important issue. I mean, you know, yeah, I know. I, I have that. I have my own copyright registration. That slip of paper I got from the Virginia Library of Congress. Yeah, uh, I noticed uh, one of the copyright-related emails was um, someone asked if uh, they could see, you know, just some letter or, or, or some evidence that uh, Sega and Nintendo gave you, um, you know, permission to, to go with Sonic and Pikachu and, and that kind of stuff for Sonic Choose origin story. Um, you know, I think if you provided those, that would silence those kind of emails right away. Yeah. I mean, you do have copyright of Sonic you, but... Um, you would still need to show Nintendo's permission to publish it. You know what I mean? Because mm. you yeah, do make use of Pikachu in the origin story. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. I think that would be a good idea to show to show uh, everyone in the mailbag. You know that would that would shut up yeah. that line of uh, questioning right away. Yeah, but then there's uh, also this. Also, the homosexuals and uh, other topics. Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, there's quite a few. Like the uh, the accusations that Rose Chu was a, a boy. I think that was kind of a big thing. Wasn't yeah. It? People are going after but that I, now. I mean, yeah, definitely before the rainbow strike. I mean, the point where that white Chu, that female white Chu, is within the rainbow. That would be after the rainbow strikes that right shoe, mm -hmm. and with the power of the with the power of the chaotic crystals. Well, you know, it um, would, it, it would put the point. It would add the point to the end of that tale. Whereas well, was, in, the, in the two panels that preceded it, the tale was definitely dull on the end. Uh, well, you know the as far as I know the the original comic. Do, uh, does have a pointy tail like a male has, and that's that's still on your website, isn't it? I, you know, um, take a look at those, take a look one at thing one thing I thought about was 
Well, I mean, actually, I didn't actually those gender point. differences in the Pokemon, that didn't really... Nintendo didn't do that until well after you created Sonichu, right? So, I mean... I mean, yeah. I just don't get why you didn't go with that. That would have been a good explanation, but instead you, you know, you kind of lied to your fans. What do you mean lie? I did not lie. I mean, you look at the two pictures before the rainbow hits, the tail is dull on the on tip. Oh, uh, well, I see that in your picture that's on, you know, the front of the Cookopedia, but uh, yeah. the original comic, he had a pointy tail, or, or she, I mean. The original I've comic, original. It, it's because, you, look, outside oh. of the, that's, that's just a line that went outside of the square. Whatever goes outside the square does not necessarily count. Uh, it doesn't look like it goes, like, outside of the panel here, but, I mean, I mean, you know. I, I don't. I don't really know. What to, I mean, I, I know that you don't. You, you probably should have corrected that mistake, but you left it in. I mean, I'm just trying to. I mean, I just kind of wish this thing had gotten nipped in the butt. You know, it's it's kind of sucks, but this this is like a huge yeah. point of contention right now. Yeah. Oh, and also, you know, another thing, I've actually <laughs> found a. I actually found a form of my loyal fans, and I have just read some of their posts about the ads that have been placed on the Wikipedia, and they really don't like them either. Mm. So I'm not alone in that. All right. Well, um, you know, uh, it's, they, if they, uh, they wanted to buy the ad space, that's, you know, that I'm sure they could too. I mean, again, you know, the, the ads, I'm going to keep trying to talk to Mao, but it's really his area. Mao's, Mao's kind of the boss of the ads. I'm just kind of the artistic genius, you know. Mao, Mao does the business work. Yeah, and I definitely do not appreciate that that drawing of me in a diaper, and then just and then just copying and pasting my signature to that. That's just wrong. Well, you know, um, I noticed that uh, even after our last talk, you continued uh, referring to Aspertu as as Mitch. I mean, I thought I kind of thought we had that cleared away that uh, that you know that you knew he was Aspertu. I mean, Aspertu yeah, is my original yeah. creation. Yeah, maybe so, but still. And I think you, I think I, I think you still true. have the impression that Aspertu is a Sonichu, and you know that's not true, right? Aspertu is not a Sonichu. Yeah. Okay, but still think about this. You know, you 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 you, took, you gave him the condition of Aspergers. Yes. That's correct. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I think you, I think you thought that I gave everyone that appeared in my comic Aspergers, but only Aspergers has it. Just you know, just yeah. Aspergers. Well, I'm sorry, you were going to say something. Anyway, still, I think you can understand since you have Aspergers and mm -hmm. considerably with me with my autism that we we really don't want to be treated as as treated as quote unquote special because of our mental conditions, we want to be treated as equal individuals. Well, that's and certainly and, that's certainly true. But uh, yeah, how do you, how do you think plus, I've been portraying Aspergeru as being treated? It was try putting yourself in the shoes of your of your Aspergeru. If if you, I mean, not only would you want to be treated as individual equal but you that's how I portray him he does everything normal people do but you would not want a name that emphasizes the mental condition you want a name that is more manly more well, ask, well you know Chris we don't uh, Chris I mean, we don't choose our names I mean our names are, yeah, I mean, are given to us Aspergeru doesn't yeah, ever you know didn't, never chose his name I mean, think of it this yeah. way. You know, the name Aspergeru, if you think of that as a, as a detriment, I don't, but, you know, if, if you interpret the comic that way, uh, think of it as a, a personal, um, a sort of character flaw, if you will, that he has to work to overcome. And all, all, character, all good characters have character flaws. Yeah. I mean, I mean and, and it's, it's fiction. I mean, sometimes yeah. characters don't always live the happiest lives in fiction, but that's part of what makes good fiction. Yeah. 
Mm, that's what I mean, yeah, what I think about. I mean, what if 